Me and Jack are taking a quick spin over here to show you the bay. Give you an update or two. It's really blowing. I don't see any right this minute, but there's been at least eight kite surfers surfing up and down the beach because of the wind. That's perfect conditions for them. They can really go when it's like this. The updates I got, uh, the, the Mumbles man went to the land of Nada yesterday morning, early, crack of dawn, and said he had the worst spin he's ever had since he's been detected. But we kind of thought that that was going to be the case. But on another note, we got a buddy of ours named Big Dave. He used to live here in Virginia Beach and hunt with us. Well, a couple of years, a year, last year I guess he moved to Maryland. And this summer he's been hunting the Northern Territory. And he's been doing okay up there. He's been doing that way too. Anyway, he came down for a visit to some friends this weekend. And he sailed down to the land of Nada this morning. I think he said 3.30 or 4 o'clock. I can't remember which. Found a knockout gold ring full of diamonds. Man's ring. If you go to the uh, Treasure Depot, that's one of the forums that we go to. Treasure Depot, all one word. Go on the surf and sand side of the menu. You'll see it. Big Dave. It's a nice taquita. All right, stand by. We're almost here. I don't have any cotton on this phone, so it's going to be really noisy in the wind, so I'm not going to be saying anything. You can just look. Rough as bricks, rough as bricks, I say. the view here in a minute. I don't see any down that way. Stand by. He got going okay when his buddies got up there. Chris was out shopping this morning. I had a guy call me by some knives he wanted to sharpen. And they were only like 15 minutes apart, so I got I got her to pick them up for me. It's a nice set of globals. Uh, four globals. Two, uh, three, I think it's two chef knives and a, and a Santuco style and a little Ferro style. I'll show you when I get back. That's all I'm going to do today that I know of. Watch the, maybe the race and some football. Maybe. i got to play ball with this turkey in a little while. Stand by. What do you got there? Here we are. I, hush. I've already sharpened them and buffed them up. I buff all my uh, fancy knives and the other ones if they're scratched up real bad. They had some little scratches in them, but they're all minor, and most of them all came out with, with the buffer with light buffing. I just think it makes them look better. You know, a lot of people get they wash them in the dishwasher, they get dishwasher stains on them, this and that. Hey, he wants that's all he wants. That's right here. Stand by a minute. Be quiet, him. There he goes. Circus train dog, come here. <laughs> Stand by. Oh, anyway, while we were, we were talking about globals, they're nice knives. I, I do, uh, I probably do more of these than I do shuns, especially at East Beach. It's a, it just seems like a little more popular knife. I like the shuns better handle wise, but these aren't bad if you get used to them, I think. But that's just my opinion. Quiet!
Okay, I gotta run. I'll post it. Well, I'm not gonna post a picture to that ring, but you can look at it where I told you at. It's a nice sticky, thing, I tell you. A beaver went. Uh, beaver went this morning. I forgot that on the bay, and it was he, he was mumbling worse than Mumbles man was. Now, my buddy, the big guy, he went on the bay. This he went yesterday, I think, on the bay up there near the cave, and he found uh, a barber quarter, a silver quarter. Let's see what else he found. I think he found a mercury dime and a buffalo, but I'm not positive. I can't remember what he sent me. But he did okay. No kind of jewelry at all. Just some old silver coins. Okay, I'm ready now. You got me trained. I got an email from Ethan Fish. One of my YouTube followers. You've probably seen him making comments. He said, I got to the land of Nottas today at noon, 25th Street. He'll be hunting the first time in the water with his sand shark. I wish him good luck. Maybe he'll find a big fat gold ring like Big Dave did. Maybe he won't. But it got plenty of wind, so there's got to be something stirring down there, I can tell you that. That's a good thing. Okay, I'll get back to you.